must-have social media tools for 2024. Welcome to a long overdue episode on this channel where we talk all things about social media and in today's video we're going to talk about what social media tools I believe will be super helpful in 2024. I will also talk about some AI features and I have recorded another video that is exclusively dedicated to social media AI tools. So it might already be out depending on when you watch this video. As always, I would love your support. If you like this video, click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Without any further ado, let's dive in right away with the first tool. So when we talk about social media management, we always have different stages. And the first stage is always to create a social media strategy. Now, I personally believe that it's almost impossible that a tool can replace you and the knowledge you have as a social media manager. There's so many things that come together when we talk about social media strategy. And that's also why I believe a tool can't replace you. You will bring together all your knowledge about specific tools about algorithms about target audience and your marketing knowledge and that will create the social media strategy so while i believe it still needs to be done by human there are tools who can support you and one of that is later now later you might know as a social media scheduling tool specifically for instagram however it has evolved so much that i feel a mention is worth again and i also want to say that none of these tools that i share here are sponsored these are tools that i personally use and i feel it's helpful so let's talk about this later feature. It's down here on the left hand side. It's called ideas. It's still in a beta version, but as you can see, this tool asks you, hey, what do you need help with? What is your brand about? And then I'll tell it, okay, my brand is about helping freelance social media managers or AKA people becoming freelance social media managers. So now the tool gives me what we call content pillars. So I have different content pillars like the tool tells me to focus on industry news, tips and tricks, case studies, client success stories and Q&A sessions. It is more or less what we already do on our Instagram account when you go there. We heavily focus however on tips and tricks. That's what I call the educational part. So then when you are on this section here, you can ask it for more ideas. So you can say, okay, give me another idea of this or I can add my own idea. So when I click generate idea, it will create ideas for you. And then let's say, okay, it tells me top five tools every freelance social media manager needs. So the tool knows what to create. I already did it because I'm doing this video. I click use idea and then right away I can draft a post. Now I'm locked in at the wrong account, so forgive me for that. Um, but now you see the caption is already here. I also have the option to improve the caption with the AI writer tool where I can rephrase it, change the tone of voice or generate completely new captions. And then on top of that, I have hashtag suggestions. So now it tells me what kind of hashtags should I create, what the relevance are. I click insert caption. Now I would upload this, the photo that I have, either click save draft or schedule it right away. So later can help you not only with come up with the strategy, but also with writing the caption and as well as hashtags. Another tool that does something similar, especially on the higher level where we talk about strategy, and that tool is called Flick Social. So Flick Social has an ideas lab and in that ideas lab, it helps you brainstorm ideas and repurpose content. The tool asks you what you want to work with and you say, okay, I'm saying freelance 
And now the tool gives me some ideas. It's not like later where it specifically gives you content pillar that is way more strategic. It gives you content ideas and then you can say, oh, do you like this content idea or not? Let's just say I take these two and now I'm getting also post ideas. So it takes it a step further. It's more brainstorming in the beginning and then we're going into specific post ideas. So I like these ideas, adding it to my library and now I have ideas here saved for whenever I wanna create a post. And then similar to later, I have the option to get support on my captions. So I'm gonna go into write a post and then I'm gonna enter my idea. I give it some more information about the tone of voice and how I want it to be written and then I'm just going to click generate caption and the caption is going to be written for me. I can then again improve it or change it, change the length, improve the tone of voice, whatever I want or I can say hey write this also for a different um, platform. And at the end, I'm gonna add hashtags. So I clicked the button hashtags and it's generating hashtags for me. And now it's suggesting hashtags for me that I can choose. Click insert hashtags and there we go. Now, what I love about Flick is that it focuses very in depth on hashtag. There is also a whole hashtags tool when I go onto the search bar that focuses only on the hashtags, not on captions or nothing else, and it gives you other ideas. So you have one hashtag and now you want other ideas. You can also then track your own hashtags and how they've worked. So for that, you need to connect your Instagram account, use the hashtags for a while so it can gather data and then it will tell you how your ranking is. If you don't want that, you can just go in here click a few hashtags based on their popularity and then use these hashtags into your post. You can save them into collection so then you, later on you can reuse them for other posts. So now we already have two tools that provide almost everything that you need, right? You have the tools who help you with content ideas, who help you with caption writing and help you with hashtags. Needless to say that these are two of my favorite tools. Now, another tool that I love, and it's a bit of love-hate relationship, is Meta Business Suite. Because a lot of the times when I post about these tools, you guys comment and say, oh, they're not free, I need a free version. And I personally believe as a social media manager, it is important to invest in tools because they will make your life so much easier. However, I do understand that in the beginning, you might not want to do that. So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to Meta Business Suite. And if you haven't set up a Meta Business Suite or a Meta Business Manager, that is the first thing you should do for yourself as well as for your clients. I know it's not the funniest thing to do and that is also usually the one video in my course that people watch over and over again until it actually is set up but once it's done you can go in here click create post and then let's just say I want to post a reels I'm gonna click here add video add a video that I want and as you can see already it suggests to me that I can upload it on Instagram as well as on Facebook and it gives me the option to customize it for Facebook and Instagram so I can have different versions on what I want to post. You can upload a custom thumbnail and that is always a big discussion when we talk about uploading a custom thumbnail because some clients want the thumbnail to look different than what's on the video. We can do that in most of the tools that I share with you. However, you cannot auto post it. So if you upload a custom thumbnails on Later or on Flick, you will have to manually post the reels when it's time. On Meta Business Suite, as of this moment, things always change, you can do that. You can upload a custom thumbnail and then you can schedule the post and it will schedule it automatically. So this is your option for a free version and for auto post. 
Now let's talk about some less popular tools that are nonetheless amazing and I feel people don't talk about it enough. One of them is Tailwind. If you're doing anything on Pinterest, you'll need Tailwind. It will save your life. Yes, you can create pins in Canva or any other graphic design studio. However, Tailwind does it within seconds and then also schedules it for you. Like literally in two minutes, you could plan an entire month of pins for your clients. So let me show you. So as any other tool, Tailwind has several AI features, which I love, but I'm not gonna go into detail. What I wanna go into detail is Tailwind Create. You're gonna go on here, and if your client has a blog, this is such a game changer. What you're going to do is you're going to enter the URL from your blog post right here, and then it will take content from that URL and create a pin. So right now my blog, unfortunately, is not online, so it won't have much to talk about, but you can see it still grabbed the photos from the URL and it then added the text that it could find. So I can change this text now down here and I'm just gonna say, as always, and here you go, so many different pins created for you. Now, I have added my color palette here. This is my old color palette. I definitely need to update it, as you can see. So these are my brand color palette. I can upload my brand here, and then the color palette matches my brand. Again, this is my old one. So now I feel like, mm, this pin seems okay, so I can select it. Or I feel, you know what? I like this pin, but I still need to edit stuff. So you can come on here and then edit it. And then I can just select some other designs that I love and change whatever I need to change. And then I'm gonna click review designs, see what I like. I can also download them and then I can schedule designs. And now I can schedule these for my Pinterest account and they will get pinned whenever I want it to be. And then I can add my pin description or I can ask AI for help with that. The pin URL, obviously that would be for the blog post, what board I wanna post it to and then when to post it and then I can just click schedule post. So super easy, I do this with my pins and then bam, you have it done for like easily a month, a month in advance. Now just quickly, another hack, you saw that I selected all these pins here and maybe you saw that on the top here it says post types. So obviously it's selected for pins. However, if I want to have feed posts for Instagram or Facebook, I can have that done too and I can just select it and then go onto my selection and click download. So that means I also have the option to download these designs and then from there I can post it on my Instagram account or my Facebook page. So super easy, very helpful. If you do have Pinterest, that's a must. Now another tool that most people don't talk about and is so helpful when it comes to YouTube is called Morning Fame. Morning Fame helps you find relevant keyword titles for your YouTube videos. So you can see I've entered here um, freelancer sales call because I want to do my next video for you guys and I click choose the first result that comes up and you can see it gives me a ranking and a few other options and there's literally nothing here. So this is a really bad that would be a really bad keyword title. So let me do something different and say social media manager portfolio. And now you see the ranking is so much better and it gives me other keyword su suggestions. Let's just say I want to use that. I'm gonna click choose this. And now it tells me how my chances are for ranking, right? If I don't like it, I can ask for more suggestions. But the idea is always to get an A or B ranking. If you have anything below D, you won't rank. So that means you put in all this work for creating a YouTube video and then you won't rank. You 
to work with keywords and you can have the best video if people don't find you it won't help you so this tool is like my secret weapon by now everyone knows canva and how amazing it is to create graphic design but if you follow me also on tiktok you'll see that i also work with visme because i love that they have different templates that not everybody uses and they've also just recently implemented an ai feature that i love so let me just quickly show you so you can click create new and then you have all these different templates and now I'm going to go generate with AI and it will open a chat tool where we can tell the AI feature what we want to create. So today I want to create, create a carousel post for Instagram. Now it wants me more details or I can say I need inspiration. There we go. And now it asks me to choose a style i'm gonna go with this one use the style and it creates the carousel post for me there you go my design is ready click edit this design okay i didn't like the design to be honest so i just clicked regenerate and here we go so much better now obviously i'm gonna change the colors i'm gonna change the adding the, uh, the, the logo, I might change some of the text, but as you can see, it did the text, it did the, the design itself. So it's still in beta version, but you can play around with it. Otherwise, I also suggest just to look through the different templates. Now, lastly, what if you have no content at all and you wanna create reels because we all know we need to create video content. And I will share with you in my other video what kind of tools you can use to create AI videos. Let me just show you a platform where you can download actual human videos. So it's called The Content Cove. I believe it's a membership. And what you have is content that you can use. You can download it and then you can use it for your own socials. So I like these kind of videos to do text overlay or just explanation videos. You can, as you saw, there's so much more content, not just for laptop, for health, etc. So check this out as well if you are ever low on stock video. All right, guys, for now, these are my tools. If you have a favorite tool, let me know in the comments below. Or if you have a tool or a need for a tool and you want me to create a video, also let me know so I can create more content for you. See you soon. Bye.